Let me tell you about a nightmare. That would be following Barry D and Coach Stallings. <laughs> and you're, my kids have already told me, Dad, you're not funny. So I think they're right. Um, thank you, Coach Stallings, for all that. Uh, Dr. McKay, Thompson, uh, members of the Charlton State University Administration, to the students that help us remember why we all do this, and to the faculty who are in fact the heart and soul and the continuation of the university, and to the friends of this university. As the Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, it's a great honor to be able to participate in the, the investiture of an educator, a researcher, an administrator, a true leader as the 15th president of Charles State University. In the A&M system this last year, I've got to do this more times than I care to remember. We've done, this is five or six. We, um, the good news is we don't do this very often at Tarleton. And uh, I hope that uh, perhaps this will be the, uh, the last one we do for a long time, sir. They, uh, it's, a, it's a rare event, but it is a great privileged event and is one to be enjoyed. Uh, and we are indeed grateful for his, his already demonstrated leadership. Uh, it's been 14 months. He's been, he's been on, on the job for 14 months. Uh, he did hit the ground running. Uh, I've been asked why we waited so long for the investiture, and I, I wasn't really sure. I, part of it was we were trying to figure out if, if he was going to uh, get him some blue jeans. <laughs> and we saw him milk a cow, so then we set the, set the date. We knew it was going to be a <laughs> And the cow didn't even step in the bucket. That was the good part. Uh, he took the helm 14 months ago, and since then, it's, it's been a campus on the move. It, it, it has been, but there has been, there's been a number of changes. Um, it's just a, a trajectory that is, that is ever upward. I, you know, even in the alma mater, if you look in, at the back, but obviously purple is the color, but if you'll drive around campus, uh, the new school color is orange, as in the orange cones that sit out in front of all the construction. <laughs> Uh, there is a lot of things going on. Uh, the campus loop, uh, when we were trying to get in from the airport, we, we took the scenic route because you could not get through uh, town. Mayor, we can talk about that. The, uh, <laughs> the construction of a nursing building, a dairy center, Representative Miller, the dairy center is coming up. Uh, to the uh, uh, refurbishment of the uh, uh, Thompson Student Center and the treasure that is the Trogdon House. That is one of those things that I am extremely proud of. And I appreciate uh, uh, Dr. Natavio and Lizette for not just agreeing to move on campus, for wanting to move on campus, to be in the midst of the day-to-day -day life from morning till the next morning. And it is just, it, it is a, a, and it's not even a labor of love, but it's an act of love. And it's a demonstration of the, of the love that they have for the university, but more than that, it's for the people of the university, for the faculty to be that accessible, for the students, for the purple poo. The, uh, I, I do appreciate that. Of all the things, I appreciate that, uh, that you've agreed to do that. One thing that, that has struck me today is the number of people who truly know Dominic Dottavio and have known for a long time. His family, the friends from Ohio, his, the board of where he came from. They, uh, it is a sign of respect and a recognition of character that so many people would make a trip to see the installation of their former president, 
as a president of another university. And to our friends from Ohio, I want to say a special thank you for, for coming here today and for sharing him with us. Thank you. Now I know the faculty and students, if, okay, is there anybody here that has not heard of the four E's? If you have, would you please hold up your hand if you've not heard of that? Okay, well, there's two. The, um, <laughs> and they just learned. Uh, the four E's, excel in scholarship, teaching, and learning. Expand our horizons. Encourage leadership, service, and student success. And extend our reach. Now, I know that you've heard that a number of times. At the Board of Regents this, uh, this last week, I want you to know that your student body president presented it. So it is getting through. And uh, uh, Maggie stood up and, and told us all of it. And then she also has a brand. They designed a brand for the four E's. So uh, we do know that you've arrived in Texas. You do know that you have to register your brand with the county. So just, you need to do that. Um, and in a state with multiple colleges and universities, in, in the state of Texas, there's 37 now, 37 public universities. Each of them is important. Each of them has unique uh, characteristics and unique things that uh, that they describe as areas of excellence, things that you would recognize. And I will tell you that Dr. Dottavio is the right person to engage in this discussion of excellence, of what we have been, what we are, and what we can be. He's the one to lead the direction, uh, lead the university in the direction of excellence. 9,000 students, 1,000 employees, and that's carrying faculty. Four different locations now. And Dr. Ottavio has demonstrated the leadership and is doing so with calm, practiced confidence. He's deeply committed to the academic excellence of Tarleton State University and as Chancellor of Texas A&M University System, I can say with complete confidence that even with such a glorious past, and that's not to be underappreciated, but that even with such a glorious past, the best is yet to come. What we're looking for is the creativity that's instilled by the faculty. It's allowed to flourish by those of us who are tolerant of different thoughts. That's how you make advances. You make advances in science and in engineering with creativity. That's why it's important that we have fine arts. That's why it's important that we have liberal arts, even for engineers and scientists in ag agriculture. Creativity doesn't come in little packets. It goes across your entire life. Uh, Dr. Dottavio is the right person with the right faculty to lead us toward creative state of being, and to bring the best that is still out there for Charles State University. Dr. Ottavio, thank you. Um, I'm supposed to do this. This thing's not Aggie proof, and I'm struggling. <laughs> In recognition of this special day, it is my great privilege and pleasure to present Dr. Dottavio the medallion signifying his investiture as the 15th president of Tarleton State University. Dr. Dottavio. 